Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Juma. In this tutorial we are going to look at the B2C API. And in the B2C API, as the name goes, it's business to customer where the business can be able to list bus amounts to the customers or clients. And uh, you can be able to use this API to make bulk payments even salary payments to your workers you can be able to use it to make business payments NGOs can be able to use it to make payments to uh, the people that are intended so let us get right into it and see what how we can be able to implement this API the first thing that we're going to do we are going to have three methods and the first one I'm going to call it P2C so the first function and we are going to have another function and I want to call it B2C result and then we are going to have the last one which is uh, B to C timeout like that. So this method here will be the method for initialization of the B to C request. Then this one will be the response that you'll be getting from Safaricom if our request is successful. If our request is not successful, we'll be getting errors as we attempt to do it. But if the request is successful and it goes all the way to Safaricom, then you receive a response in the B2C result. And we can have several responses depending with what it is that uh, the issue is. We can also have some responses that are not com uh, for transactions that are not complete here and then we also have b2c timeout this is where if uh, your your request gets timed out you can be able to get a response here so you have these three methods which are going to assist us to do one or two things now uh, just to mention uh, one thing is that uh, I'm running my application already I, I think I have done PHP at and serve and the application is running I'm also running running rock because I'm using the local server then uh, because of uh, this tutorial uh, the way it is designed we it, it is linked to other tutorials so there is a, a tutorial that we had in the first uh, uh, time that we were working with it and we created our token here but remember whatever it is that you're having here is a payment controller so I created a payment controller then we have a method here that assists us to get the token so here we will need the consumer key consumer secret and the URL for getting the token and then we will make a gazole request and then with the consumer key and consumer secret and then we will get our access token so this access token is the one that we are referring it in our b2c method so this method here is the one that i'm going to just refer to it down here and some of uh, these codes are in my github repo so you can check them out and see if you at any particular moment you are stuck so access token we are going to use that method that we have above there or call it so we are going to say this token like that so it you call the method that i've shown you and then we will get a token and save it there the next thing that we need is the initiator name initiator name and this one this one we can be able to get it here in our developers portal when you click on apis then you can scroll down to where we have b2c you can click there and then choose an app choose an app here so when you choose an app you're going to be given some of the credentials that i'm typing here so let us just uh, continue so the initiator name is test api And then we have initiator password. 
initiator password and the initiator password also you will get it from from your from the developers portal your credentials and then after that um, is something else that I would like to do. I do not know if I've already copied the the public key to my storage storage app. Yes, there's nothing, so we will go and obtain that one. So I'm going to click on doc documentation, and then scroll downwards. We have Mpesa certificates, Mpesa API certificates. Yes, we are going to download this sandbox key. And so it's downloaded. I know I had downloaded it previously, but I'll just do it again such that we can be able to go on well. So I want to copy this one and I'm going to paste it. Let me just paste it directly in uh, the folder. So I'm going to go to local disk C, ZAMP, and then htdocs because that is where my application is and then mpesa integration is the name of my application then storage then inside the app folder is where where i'm going to paste my my sandbox certificate public certificate so this certificate is the one that we will use to encrypt our password the initiator password so once you go live with your application you'll be given the initiator password and this password can be able to do a b2c transaction on your behalf so if you uh, transfer it just openly it can be intercepted by hackers and you can be able to lose money in that process so another thing of course to mention is that your initiator password should be kept a secret anyway so uh, I want us to go get our certificate so maybe I can just call it uh, let me just say uh, path so where our certificate is stored and we can say storage disk and remember if you are to use this storage you, you must be able to have imported it up here so eliminate support facades storage so it's a must for it to be imported there for you to be able to use it so storage disk local in this case because we have just stored it in our application and then get and then here we are going to write the name of the file so as you can see if we go to to our if we check our folder structure we have a file called sandbox certificate dot cer so this is what we want to access and it is in storage app then sandbox certificate dot cer so uh, this helper method can be able to just get it for us so i'm going to write here sandbox certificate and you must type it the way it is that cer so that you get us a certificate and then now uh, the next thing i'm going to just call it public key and uh, the public key we are going to use open SSL get and what we are, we are getting is public key public key like that and then we are going to say path so whatever it is that we're getting in the path we want to get the public key from that uh, path that we have saved there so this will assist us to get the public key then the next thing that we are going to do if everything is fine we are going now to do our encrypting and remember as it is mentioned
mentioned uh, in the developers portal, we are going to use RSL encryption. So we are going to have open SSL public because you are using the public key encrypt and then we are going to have several things inside here of course the first thing that we need to pass in what we are encrypting in this case and what we are encrypting is the initiator password so it is the initiator password that we are encrypting and then the next thing this is a uh, where the encryption will be stored so i will just call it encryption encrypted sorry and then we are going to pass in our public key and then we are going to set our padding and in this case for the padding we can have it as open we're supposed to have it as open ssl pks1 PKCS1, PKCS1, padding. So I think if everything is okay, then we have done our encryption. So whatever data that we get here is stored in this variable called encrypted, this one here. Encrypted, that one. Oh, sorry, it's uh, small letters. And created in that variable that is where we have our encrypt encrypted data so now uh, we are doing this we are encrypting for us to be able to get something called security credentials so 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 security security credential security credential and security credential we are going to encode our uh, our encrypted data this one here with the uh, base 64 encoding so i'm going to have base 64 encode and we are going to pass in encrypted our uh, encrypted data so that will be our security credential. Then the next thing is command ID. Command ID. And here you can say salary payment. And I hope I have put a capital S because it's usually very specific. And you can also say business payment or you can also say promotion payment so for example the companies that usually do promotions even like the betting companies and then we are going to have amount and i'm going to put any amount arbitrarily then we have party a and this party a should now be the is supposed to be your b2c short code remember whenever you are you are doing b2c you cannot be able to use your normal c to be um you, you cannot be able to use your normal c to be uh short code in this case maybe your pay bill number or uh your till so you have to apply for another short code that you will be able to use for b2c only so i'm going to use that one and remember these ones i'm getting from uh, my developers portal all these uh, credentials and then we have party b
Party B. And then Party B. Again, we are going to use what we have in uh, the developer's portal. So let me just show you where we'll be able to get it from. So you go to APIs and then go to B2C and then here we will be able to select an, uh, an app and then as you can see we are going to have some of those things so our party B we are supposed to use this phone number here so I'm just going to paste it here 254 and then paste every other thing that is our party B and then we will have uh, remarks and here for remarks we just need anything that we can be able to write here a string with a maximum of 100 characters so let me just write remarks uh, if you are intending to write something specific you can do that so probably maybe just something that describes this payment more maybe a payment for what specifically but it has to be limited within 100 characters then the next thing that we're supposed to have is q q timeout url q timeout url and this one we we will set it to an empty string for now but then uh, we are going to work on it and then we have result url remember there's a reason why i have two other methods we have b2c's result this one you be related to this one here so it will be the end point that you be hit so you process the data inside here and then the q timeout url is the one that you be related to this one then you'll be processing that data inside there so result url and then uh, let me set it to an empty string for now and then uh, occasion it's another thing occasion So this location also should be just around a maximum of 100 characters also so even this one you can write anything that uh, you want to write so sort of like related to what we're having in remarks in terms of uh, whatever requirement it is that is uh, required upon it i hope i have written it correctly occasion double c double, yes i think so occasion all right then uh, the next thing that we need is the url that will be the end point that you'll be hitting so url and here uh, we just go to our developers photo and copy this one because you remember we are actually on the b2c requirements or or credentials so that is the url that you'll be hitting the endpoint that you'll be hitting and then uh, so from there we are going to make our requests but i'm not going to test the request right now we will test it after we have been able to work on this too and see how you can be able to um, pass the information so let us make the request so let me just store it in a variable called response what we are going to do is make a http request so http with token And then inside here we are passing the access token after that we are making a post request and the post request is being made to 
the URL, this one here, this URL. And then of course, we are just not making an empty post request, we are sending some uh, data in our request. So I want us to just put in the data, so initiator name and this one no 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 mistyped so initiate a name and this one is uh, going to be set to a variable initiator name and then we are going to have security credential And this security credential, we are going to set it to the variable security credential. Then we are going to have command ID. And we are going to set it to a variable command ID. And then we are going to have what? Amount. going to set it to a variable amount then we will have party A and remember party A is a person who is being paid so in this case the phone number of uh, the person being paid so party A, we will set it to the variable party A. No, party A is uh, the short code, the B2C short code, and then party B is a person being paid. So refer that. Party B, we're going to set it to the variable party B. Party B. Like that. And then remarks. Set it to the variable remarks. And then uh, queue timeout URL. Queue timeout. Time out URL to the variable Q timeout URL and then the result URL to the variable. result URL and then finally the occasion occasion to a variable occasion like that and then uh, so that is it I think our request is good mm -hmm. so after that what I wanted us to do is just we just return this response and see if there are any errors or whatever it is that might be have come out of it and I have put it in a wrong place it should be outside this this request so yes outside it like that very nice so that is that and uh, I just want us to do something about the Q timeout URL and the result URL. 
and the first thing I'm going to do is um, go to our web.php file and then do a few things there and then come back here and and handle but uh, first of all I think for this one we are just going to save the data so I'm going to say data is equals to json decode not json decode file get contents like that file get contents and this one will be able to strip the URL of the data that will be sent back and then we will be able to save it so php input I believe I've written it correctly and then we can store this so storage disk local and we are going to store it as a b2c response and uh, it's a text file and we are putting in the data so all the information in whatever it is we're having in the data variable stored in this data variable we want to save it there and i just want to copy this if everything is good with it and also paste it here but then this one now you call it b2c timeout that should be the name of the file that is okay so now I uh, want to go to our web.php file and do one or two things so let us go ahead and do that and uh, so uh, let me just expand this a little and go to web.php 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 The routes folder okay then I want to add some more routes so the f I will just copy this one and the this one is a get request and we are just calling b2c this one you'll be calling our first method b2c and the name let us just call it b to see but remember it's a group function so you'll be calling payments then b2c like that and then uh, the other methods are post post methods so b2c result we call it like that and it will be calling a function in our controller that is called b2c result I think I typed it badly result and the name can just be this one and then after that we will have timeout so this one let me call it timeout and this one will be timeout the method this is the controller method that we are calling so the controller method is b2c timeout the controller method is b2c result and the controller method is b2c just like that and then this one i'll just copy like that and paste here and save so we have handled the result and uh, the timeout so I would just like us to uh, be able to populate information in the result URL and the timeout URL and see what happens so what we are going to have as you remember we had not inputted some 
data in the in our URLs. So the queue timeout URL, I'm going to paste the best URL that we are going to work with, which is uh, that, and then I'm going to write here payments, and then uh, we have said B to C time out just like that time out and then this other one we will paste the same and we are going to call it b to c no payments payments forward slash b to c resolve result like that so those are the two URLs. So one of them is B2C result, the other one is B2C timeout, the methods that we are calling. I think that is okay. One more thing that I've not been able to do, I've not been able to set this Grok um, uh, URL as our base URL in our ENV. So I would like to open my ENV file and set it there. So you delete this one and and uh, paste it paste in the new value that we have the one that we are using currently and uh, I think uh, you go to terminal. I want to just check terminal new terminal. Let us see. Because I was already running this application, let me just see if everything is good. Because it's supposed to restart our terminal. I don't know. Maybe we close. We close it entirely and just run it afresh. So terminal, new terminal. And we are going to run our application. Let me see this one. Let me see what is here and what is here. Is even not terminal that is running. It's okay. So let us run this one. PHP uh, tsun serve and wait for it to run. So probably I can. Uh, oh, it's already running. I wanted to pause the video, but it's because it's already running. Let us give a try. I believe everything is okay. And uh, for for these uh, requests, you must be. Just careful such that uh, the typing of these values, uh, especially the ones that you're passing in the request, to be exactly the same as the ones that are in our in the request here. The the one that is given in the in the developer developers portal. So let me just check if all of them are okay. So B two C API and then the request uh, body request body. So we have occasion, yes. You can see occasion, you can say Christmas and remarks, you can say here my remarks anyway. So as you can see, whatever it is that we are doing, we are generating a security credential from the certificate. That is what we are doing here. And then we are continuing like that. So if you are working with it even in a production, you can be able to generate your certificate using this method. But now in this case, it will be the production certificate so anyway let me see if our application is running let me see if our application is running so we paste this one here and see if it is running or i can go ahead and say payments payments and then B to C straight ahead just like that and see payments then B to C let's see if it is running my machine is a little bit slow but yes I suppose it, it must be running let us see Okay, we are having a timeout. We are having a timeout. 
for a generation of uh, that token so let me try it again my machine is a little bit overloaded let us see of course issues of timeout you are supposed to just go and change in your php any file and then you will be fine so let me just uh, pause the video a little bit and try to see how i can be able to remove my application of uh, the unnecessary things and then we'll be able to run the request again and see if you'll be successful so just a minute welcome back um, I have uh, tried to work to look at uh, the reason why we are having the error and I discovered that uh, it seems as if the Daraja API was the sandbox uh, for testing was temporarily down and we were not getting the access token that is the reason why we are having that error I've made some uh, amends on whatever it is that we had especially here where we are we are preparing our public key and uh, I believe I had given something different from whatever it is that you're having here. So open SSL underscore P key underscore get public and then path. So that is uh, what we will be able to use to in order for us to get our public key and prepare it for encryption. And then we will do every other thing this in a similar way in which we did. So, uh, I've been able to uh, change my uh, Grok uh, session, so we are using a different link. And I would like us to just try and see if we'll be able to make the request successfully. So this is our base URL, and then we are going to have payments, and then uh, B2C. And then we will run and see if we are going to have any response wow as you can see conversation id every other thing is good so meaning our request has gone successfully to the api end and we have not had any prior errors so i would like us to just check on grok and see if we are having our result uh, endpoint is being hit and there is nothing so far so I'll just try again because sometimes this B2C API for Sandbox sometimes it has challenges you might find you are attempting several times and the result is not uh, being given but we will keep on trying until we, we see a result here and then we will go and check in our in our storage to see if the response will be successful so let us just uh, refresh again still not yet we have made two b2c three b2 four b2c requests still not uh, getting the result i would like to pause the video and then resume when we have a result so let me pause. Welcome back. I believe we have a hit at our endpoint because there is a file that we are calling B2C response that has been created in our storage app. So when we open it, we can be able to see the response that we are getting from uh, the Daraja API. So I'm going to copy this one and maybe just open a JSON formatter such that we can be able to see what we have here. So let me just paste it here that we can be able to see what we have. So the data that we're getting it looks something of this sort. So we have the result, the result type of zero result code zero, result description, the service request is processed successfully, 
original conversation ID that and then uh, transaction ID that result parameter and then now after that we have the transaction amount every other information regarding the person that we are paying and uh, I think at this juncture that will be the end of uh, this tutorial so I uh, would like to stop there if you have been able to follow the the code properly as you can see here in our B2C result we are getting the data and we are saving it in B2C response text file so that is what is able to save for us in uh, that place where we're having it in storage but if you want to process and save in the database you can be able to proceed in a similar fashion as we did with uh, the other responses and in this case what we have here is a, is a, the data is in a similar way in which it will be appearing from safaricom so you can be able to process and save this data whatever data that you'll be getting in your database thank you very much that sums up uh, our video and we will stop there i ask that you may subscribe you may like uh, the video you may also comment below if 